place to start is probably the squad. Um, any fresh problems? Any update on maybe Oli McBurney coming back? Uh, well, as I've said before, uh, with, with Oli, really touch touch and go for for the for the next two or three games. So. Um, uh, we planned on him not being involved, uh, and if he is, then 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 great. So just monitoring that from um, sort of a, a day-to-day sort of situation. So that's obviously disappointing for us. Uh, Zanderberg um, had an operation on uh, on his tendon in his um, in his leg. Um, so. Um, Obviously, a huge blow for us with with Xander being out uh, uh, between three and four months. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a difficult one with uh, a couple of a couple of players uh, missing for us. Obviously, one sort of uh, short term and uh, another obviously uh, uh, a longer uh, a longer scenario. Is Lee Smoothset in a position where he's ready to start a game yet? Yeah? yeah, I mean, Lee's is. Uh, been in a in, in a in a situation. He, he didn't train for a couple of days. Again, he had a, a, a reaction last week to his ankle. Um, we turned his ankle over. Obviously, he got injured pre-season. Worked his way back and then uh, came back for for the West Brom game. Turned his ankle over in training. Out missed training. He missed a couple of days training last week. So um, he wasn't uh, in a position to start. He's missed another day this week as well. So. I'm uh, going to assess him today, but he's not really in a situation, position to to to, to really start um, and, and play, you know, 50, 55, 60 minutes of football. So at the moment, if he is okay, he'll be um, um, he'll be obviously involved and uh, and used as an impact sub. You spoke after the draw at Brighton. Uh, I think the phrase you used was there was now a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, how do you? Move on from that, build on that result, and move a bit closer to the light. And I just having another week's training of um, of the intensity that that is required here, um, and um, and working our way towards the next game. I think that's the only thing you can do, uh, and look look at the next game as an opportunity to go and um, try to pick some points up against obviously a, a, a side who started off. Uh, uh, I can house on fire. Obviously, had a couple of couple of uh, results that that. Uh, that they wouldn't have enjoyed, but have come have come storming back as well. So um, there's it, no let up, really, is there? You know, you, 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 people talk about the fixture list, and uh, you know, after we played sort of um, uh, uh, Liverpool, Man City, and Chelsea on you know three games on the spin, um, and then you, it, it, it's still you know an incredible division with 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 uh, you know enormous amount of talent. That you're up against every week, so you know we go to Southampton, who are banging form. Um, we get turned over there. We've got a real tough game against Brighton. We're down to ten men after after uh, 35, 40 minutes, and uh, and get close to getting our first win of the season, and then uh, and then Everton roll into into Bramall Lane on Boxing Day. Um, so, you know, um, the the fixture list is, as I said, is is is. Uh, it never seems to be, and and we shouldn't expect it to be really a, 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 a let up. And so, you know, as I said about us, and, and making sure that, that that we're right, and we we go and approach the game um, in the manner that we have done in 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 uh, in the previous games. Because of those difficulties, and because of the unprecedented situation that you find yourselves in with the number of points, are we already in kind of Christmas miracle territory for you to be the odds? State up, or is there more of a hope than that? Well, the odds are there for a reason, um, but the, the odds are al- always there to uh, to uh, to be beaten as well. So, um, season do not finish after after you know 15, 15 20, 20 games. So, as long as there's um, the games to play, then we have a we have a situation where we can pick up points, and who knows what happens above us, you know? But we. Oh, of course, looking at the uh, looking at the points tally and 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 the gap, you know, we've got to obviously claw claw our way back into the fight uh, first and foremost. Uh, but there's enough games to, to, to do that. I think what we sh- what we have shown here at this football club is uh, that, we, that there is a is a big fight in us always. Uh, fight to get into the Premier League, fight to stay in the Premier League in our first season, and now a huge fight now to. 
to, 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 to do the same. So there's a big fight. Um, looking back at last year, we came back, we drew, drew against Villa, got soundly beaten um, uh, against Manchester United, lost at Newcastle when we were down to 10 men. <clears throat> and then well, we came roaring back and we, we, we beat Wolves, we beat Chelsea and we beat Tottenham. So the players can produce big performances and, um, you know, those three sides are no, no mug sides, you know, uh, great, great sides. Uh, as I keep saying, a lot of huge talent in all, all three of those sides that we, we that we turned over last year. So we've got to produce performances that are, that are obviously similar to, to to those. But we can do it. But uh, you know, back to your question, Ben. Uh, you know, obviously, yeah, we need to over this period. We need to uh, we need to do it uh, sooner than sooner than later, and um, and obviously, you know, give ourselves a, a, a chance. Looking at the table again, um, Arsenal. I don't look four. at it, Ben. I do. I'll tell you, Arsenal are just four points above the. Draft. I'm not getting sucked into all that, Ben. So I'm not. I'm not going to do what the other any other manager's done. I'm just concentrating on us. You know, there's uh, there's obviously other clubs, other clubs down there that have got their own situations and issues. Um, but I think uh, we take inspiration. I mean, that, that that you can win a few games of football, as I've just said. Um, Burnley have, have obviously gone on a on a great run. Um, so um, you know it, it can change quickly, and um, and that's what we're, we're we're looking at. So um, no disrespect to the question, but I'm not going to talk about anybody else really. What about um, January coming up? Um, I know you've spoken about wanting to get a couple of players in. How big a role can the right arrival in January do for not only your season but I suppose the future of the club, given the situation? Well, it's you know in terms of the future of the club, the two signings or what what I've pushed for. Uh, are going to be loan signings, so um, that's the market that, that, that we're looking in. Um, so um, and, and looking for looking for yeah uh, 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 an arrival or two to give the players the boost to make us better. It's as simplistic as that. You know, I'm looking to make the team better in January. Um, not going to bring players in that um, that are going to come on underneath. Of you know. Um, it always is a huge challenge um, from a budget situation to uh, assemble a squad, um, and at times, as you've seen, you have to we have to wheel and deal and, and look to bring players in and see if we can improve them in our in our building at our football club and, and polish them up a little bit and um, and get them going. Um, you, you, you've seen that in in, uh, in quite a few examples in in, uh, in our in our squad, but certainly. Um, for the time now is to bring for me is to bring a couple of players in that that, that, uh, that go straight in and improve the team, um, which is obviously what I'm uh, I'm looking to do, and obviously the the board and the owners uh, understand that. You've been heavily linked with Jesse Lingard. Is that the sort of player that you want? Someone to add a bit of a creative spark? Is that the sort of player that can make the biggest difference to your team? Do you think? We're looking in a couple of positions in in, in around that position, and obviously from uh, a, another position as well that I've talked consistently about. So um, you know, this it's not going as I said, it's not going to be you know three, four, and three and four. It's a couple in 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 uh, in in positions that yeah will give us will give us a spark. Um, we'll we'll. Um, will make us better. I think, as I said, it's as sim simple as that. And obviously, there's a, there's a few players out there. It's quite a difficult window, as everybody understands. But there's a few players out there, and we've we've inquired about a few. And just finally, before I move on, um, historically, January is a difficult window. But looking at it this year, how, is there a potential to really make an impact by getting an early signing in? Because I was looking at the fixture list. If you get a signing in on the 1st of January, for example, you've got five games in that month itself. Normally, signings in January always come at the end, but this year more than ever, is there a real appetite to try and get something done early to give you the best possible impact? There's always an appetite me for from me, Ben, to get it done straight away. So um, as soon as that window opens, yeah, there is, but it isn't as easy as as uh, as that. As I've, I've always said, this there's a situation um, with 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 sort of you know the player. And an agent, um, the the club that we're we're we're, we're trying to get the player from, and, and our club to ne to negotiate. So from my point of view, yeah, um, I'd, I'd love to get two players in on the first first of January, so they're in the building straight away and they're available straight away, and we can get them in and um, um, and get them integrated into into the group. But um, 
as you've always seen um, on transfer windows uh, and deadlines, the the rush of activity at the end is absolute uh, crackers and, and, and everybody's scratching the red. But there's a reason for that. It's because of everybody's everybody's waiting and clubs are holding out and players are holding out and and there's all, all, all different scenarios and situations involved in it. But uh, I think any manager would, uh, would, would want their players in whether it's the start of pre-season or whether it's the, the, the 1st of January and uh, and I'm no different. Thanks for your time, Chris. Cheers, Ben. Merry Take Christmas. care. Thanks, mate. And you. Uh, hi, Chris. Morning. It's uh, Andy from Radio Sheffield here. Morning, Andy. Yeah. Just while you're talking about the, the sort of transfer things, does does the injury to, to Sander Berger maybe mean that John Lundstrom isn't going anywhere this January because it was kind of up in the air? Well... Um, we uh, there's not been no inquiries for John Lundstrom um, to me or, or the chief exec so <clears throat> he's still under contract um, if somebody does come in then we, we have to assess that um, because obviously they're going to come in with a fee and the club will, the club will have to assess that is, that is it worth doing that or, or not um, of course losing Xander um, is, is, is a huge blow for us and, and obviously John plays in that position so um, you know if, if an inquiry comes in or an offer comes in but it hasn't so far my phone hasn't rang once regarding John so you know I don't think John moves in this window and um, that's the reason he's been involved with us um, his attitude has been good and um, that's the reason that um, that that I don't think John will go until his his his, his contract runs down at the end of the season. Uh, with every injury, big one though this is, it provides an opportunity for say Norwood or Osborne to to come back into the team to re-establish their form, doesn't it? Yeah, I just want you know from my point of view, which I've told the players, I just want somebody to grab the shirt and say it's mine and uh, not let go of it. And I think the criticism of the players from me is that not not enough of them have done that. This season, nobody's gone and grabbed a shirt, and, and you know, you can imagine the amount of times that I'm I'm looking at that team, Andy. Um, whether it's here at Shycliffe or whether I'm a, I'm at home, it's always in in me and always thinking about me. What is the best for the football club? What is the best team I can put out? And um, I'd love to be in a position where somebody says, "That's me. I'm sorted. I'm the one. I'm sticking my end up, and I'm playing at a level uh, that is." That is good enough for me not to uh, not to be a consideration to for the manager to um, to change the side. I'd love that, um, and there hasn't been enough of that, Andy, in my opinion, to the, uh, to the players, and they know that and they understand that. There's always an opportunity on a Monday to Friday to stick their hand up and say he's trained well. We look at every aspect of, of what happens at the football club from a Monday to Friday to training sessions to, to players, what they do, and then when they go out and, uh, and, and, and play uh, in, in the first team. And um, I want those problems. And I've always said they're good problems to have. And the problems that I'm having now is because of not enough people. So whoever comes in, plays well, then, you know, I'm not going to leave them out if they, if they, um, if they play well enough. Um, and now is uh, a time. Obviously, off the back of the Man U game, there was improvements. Obviously, at the back of the, the Brighton game, there's improvements. But still, there's there's a number of players there that are not in the form that uh, I I expect them to. And and I suppose most importantly, then um, to to the standards that they've set um, at this at this football club themselves. It makes you think then about where where they are mentally then, because you know all the right things will be said. They as individuals say all the right things to people like me, don't they? But yet when they when they cross that white wash, that's not that's not shown in the performances. Yeah, that's right. There's inconsistent performances from from a, quite a lot of the players, um, and I think that's a fair criticism to the players from from myself. And I have I have said that to them, and um, and, and and yeah, that's that is. That is the challenge. That's the challenge that, that, that they have to accept and um, to cement a place in this team. You know, you put together a squad. I think there's, there's different situations in terms of the, of the younger players going into uh, situations that, that maybe they're not ready for. 
so the experience, some of the experienced players have to get on with it. Um, you, you know, I don't want to be making all these changes uh, 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 all, all the time. You know, and 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 as as as, as you've seen through our for, for our inj- injury list, it, we've been quite unfortunate having to having to do that. But I just want consistent footballers that are giving me and giving the football club a seven or an eight out of ten. And if that if that happens, then that that's that's great. And uh, and they have to hit the ground running as well. You know, they, there's an opportunity. You have to take it. You don't. You know, it's you can't look as how one are running the team. You know, I need you know four, five, and six games to get me up to speed. No, it's, there's an opportunity. Grab it, and then one less problem that the manager has. I wonder if then that chat. I realise it, it not necessarily make too much of it, but the players have talked about the, the sit down chat that was. Uh, had after the Southampton performance, whether that might prove some kind of turning point then? Because they, they should be talking all the time, Andy. They should be Andy. talking all the time because it's about their individual future and the, and, and the, and the, and the, and the immediate future of the football club. So if, I'm in that, if I was in that change room as a player, I'd be talking about it all the time. When I get in in the morning, over dinner, when I'm on a coach, in a an, an hotel for an away game, they have, you know, it's... It's uh, a responsibility from them, not just from me and my coaching staff. It's responsibility to them regarding what they what they need to need to do. Um, um, I'm not surprised that they've, they've they've had chats, and and as I said, I'm uh, you know that they should be having that all, all, all the time, in my opinion. Uh, so, but since then, of course, you've seen an upturn in performance, haven't you? It was, it was good against Man U uh, and good against Brighton in parts, so possibly then some kind of turning point. Well, you know, we, we're. We're one-one with Leicester in the 90th minute. That's not a bad performance. The West Brom performance, apart from sticking the ball in the back of the net, was enough to win a game of football. You know, I, I, I think in isolation. You know, I'm not listen. I'm not saying that the, these performances this season have been out of the world and been nine out of ten. Uh, but you know, these, the Southampton really upset and uh, and disappointed myself watching 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 my team. It wasn't us. Um, it wasn't us. But I said afterwards. That in the four years that I've, that I've been here, four and a half years, in the first year we had a Southampton performance. In the second year, I remember we had Southampton performance. You scratch your head from where it comes from, but it does happen. So um, you know, at times you have to obviously react react to that, which 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 I did um, uh, to, to to the players. But you do get those performances, but. I think, you know, we've talked, haven't we? I mean, how, how long have we talked about fine margins and um, and, and not taking big moments and 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 the, and the situation um, to and the difference between this year and last year, off the pitch, on the pitch. So, um, whether it's a defining moment, I still think you know the previous games we've we've done enough to pick up points, and you know we should be a lot higher up in the table. Um, um, than, than, than what we are, and, um, and 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 of course, we, you know, it's it is deeply disappointing where where we are in terms of the points tally. But yeah, um, a reaction to that, which, as I said, um, in the previous four years, there has been a, 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 a big a big reaction to one of those performances, and we've got a uh, a reaction. But no disrespect, playing. A team in League One um, uh, and having a poor performance, and then your next game, an opportunity to put that right uh, in the Championship in the first year, in the Championship in the second year, is a little bit different to, to facing Man United at home. Um, but as I talked about it, you know, I, I wanted a reaction. You saw there, you, we got one, um, and obviously that we we roll that into to, to, to Brighton, and we need to roll it into 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 the Boxing Day clash against Everton. And just finally, then from me, what was your reading of them right now? They've had some excellent results in the league, haven't they? But they did have that dip. So where do you see them being at? It's just a it's just an you know huge football club that's been that's been in and around the top ten. I keep saying for 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 for, for years, and uh, keep adding quality players and and and, and a really established. Top Premier League club that's that's attracted, you know, one of the best managers in in in, in world football. So for him to go there says a uh, says something, tells a story. Uh, he's not going to go there and um, and, uh, and and mess about in the um, 
in the window uh, with recruitment. He's going to get some really good players to add some add to add some really good players that they've already had and they've bought. You know, over the last sort of five years, what they what they've bought and had they through the door is some is some world class players, and um, and and they've got that. They had a, a fabulous start. It happens in the Premier League. You you lose a a couple of tight games and they've come they've come roaring back. So uh, as you said in the previous interview, that the fixture list doesn't get any easier, um, and that is what we have to have to deal with in 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 this division. And we've got to go and deal with with Everton head on, but. You know, us at the top of our game or, or, or producing a, a, a big performance can get us a result in this game. And the players know that. Um, the players, as, as I talked about, you know, last year, Newcastle away down to 10 men, 3 uh, 0. Manchester United away, where they, they, where, where, where they were, they were uh, all, all over us uh, last year. And then we came roaring back with, um, with, with those wins to. Uh, to to, uh, to to turn it round and uh, turn those little couple of defeats round into into the wins that we had against Chelsea, uh, Chelsea, Spurs and Wolves. So they know they can do it, but I, I, it's, we've we've all done. We can talk all day about what they have done and the fine margins and the injuries and Bramall Lane supporters not being there. But we have to get on with it and we have to produce a big performance and uh, and try and get a, a big result. Um. I was just interested when you were talking about Everton to perhaps ask you about Tom, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who's a former Blade, of course. How impressed have you been with the step up he's made this season to another level? Yeah, it's, uh, it's brilliant for Dom, um, and, de and delighted for him. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously know a lot, a lot about him. Um, had him on loan at, at one of my previous clubs, um, and. Um, and obviously, the, the 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 time the time of the of the move to 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 a Premier League club was um, was a, a difficult time for us to to hold on to on to Dominic. But uh, obviously, uh, opportunities have opened up there, and he, and he's taken them not just at club level but at international level. And, and delighted uh, that, that he has obviously a, a Sheffield boy and uh, and a, and uh, and somebody who uh, you know thinks a lot about. Uh, this this football club and um, and yeah it's uh, it, it's great it, it, to, to to watch his progression um, through uh, through the last sort of two or three years. Uh, you spoke earlier in the press conference about players sticking their hand up and really making an impression and taking the shirt. I just wonder if you felt like Jaden Bogle was perhaps an example of a player who came on and did make a real impression at Brighton. Uh, absolutely, so yeah, he he, he did. And uh, you know, obviously playing in a in in a, in a bit of a different position that he's that he's used to. Um, it's been difficult for Jaden because he's had to try and get past George um, in 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 that slot. And uh, I do think that at, at times this season, George has stuck his hand, uh, hand up and um, and uh, and been one of those players that has has, has produced fairly consistent performances. Um, and I think with maybe the disruption in the back five, you know, to chuck Jaden in at a time to have more changes would. I, I, I didn't think the timing of that was 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 right for for, for that to happen. Uh, but there was an opportunity that opened up for him Sue on 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 Sunday afternoon, and, and delighted that he, he 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 took it. And and yeah, that's that's what I'm after. I'm after um, players that that, are, that, are, that are, I'm here. I'm, I, I want to play and. Uh, I'm gonna any opportunity is an opportunity to impress, and he certainly did that. Just more broadly, Chris, you were talking about consistency of performance and players not being at the peak of their form. As a manager, how do you engender that? How do you get them back there? How much is it you, and how much is it them, and how do you get that blend right? Well, I'd I'd love them to 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 be playing consistently well, and and, and yeah, difficult decisions to to have, but. But nice ones, as, as as all managers will would say that. But yeah, there is obviously from from our point of view, you know, uh, looking at the clips, looking how they're playing, you know, the technical aspects of the game, the tactical aspects of the game. But but I think it, it goes into into that category from themselves. They've got to find they've got to find a way to get themselves back playing at the best of their ability. And usually, 
it's just working as hard as you possibly can and there's no secret formula. Um, you, you know, uh, you've, they've just got to find it for themselves. And yeah, of course, yeah, <laughs> blatant, obvious, obvious statement. It's a team game, but in there, in there, you if you do your job to the best of your ability and play um, a standard that uh, they have done and can reach, then you, you drag in other players along with you. And um, and as I said, I don't think we've had enough of that this year. Um, but starting to see. A little bit of signs in the last two games that you know we can we can get back to you know close to where we are. Christmas fixtures are the ones that the fans tend to look at when the fixture list comes out in the summer. Look ahead to the Boxing Day fixtures. How much are you going to miss the fans over this uh, over the, this next couple of weeks, and how important are they to you guys? Well, Ben, if you uh, obviously um, if you if you you listen to to numerous interviews that, I, that, I've, that I've done and been consistent with. I, I think that our football club has, has been affected um, more, than, more than anyone. Um, and, and I understand everybody else having their opinion. I have, I have their opinion from our point of view, but the way we reconnected to them four years ago, the, the support that they give me and, uh, and the players through, through those last four years, we've had some you know, brilliant, brilliant times. Um, and they've stuck with us. And, you know, when you... You don't get off to the start that you want, you know. I'm sure that they would have been with us right away through this. You know, disappointed, of course, and and critical, of course, because you know the results haven't haven't been haven't been good enough. But you know, I, I look back at, at, at you know certain games this season, and I'm sure that you know they're turning tight games into draws and even into wins for us, um, and right right the way through. Um, and they would have they would have been there with us, and uh, and because it's. Um, a group of honest players, they recognise that, and uh, and they would have certainly have lifted have lifted the players um, in key moments through those games, and I'm sure that that would have uh, that would have affected affected uh, score lines most most definitely.